Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and I am doing this intro really really quickly because I'm running late so today I just finished getting ready I have to take all these clips off um, and I'm just getting ready because I'm on my way to the Ian Drummond studio so I think I've talked about this before but Ian Drummond does like um, um, wardrobe rentals like vintage wardrobe rentals for like movies and television really really cool and they're having a big studio sale today I talked about it on my Instagram so I just got ready so that I can head on over to the studio sale and see what kind of vintage pieces I can find um, so I thought I would take you guys along with me and show you guys the studio and just kind of like shop with me um so that's basically the plan i'm like running really really late so i'm gonna take these clips off put on my hat and then i will see you guys when i get there <laughs> okay wait should i wear this hat today i don't know for some reason it's just like not looking as cute on me today i've worn this exact outfit before and it just looked so cute but now that i'm actually wearing it today i feel like does it make sense for where i'm going I don't know. I'm running way too late to decide. Maybe I'll just bring it in the car and I'll decide when I get there. I'm just running so late. I'll see you guys later. Hi guys. So I just got here. Let me turn this air off because that's probably super annoying. Um, I just got here. I'm a little bit early. They said I could come a little bit earlier, but I'm like a little bit too early, I think. Um, I ended up going for this little white hat, which I'm kind of debating if I should even wear because I feel like I look a little bit too bridal, like wearing all white. What do we think? Should I wear the hat? Should I not wear the hat? <sighs> I don't know. Okay, I should probably be going in in like five minutes and then I'll show you guys what everything looks like before the sale starts. They have a really big sale sign outside. Very exciting. I really hope I find some really cute pieces. I'm looking for like 1940s, 1930s obviously. So I don't know. We'll see what I find. Um, yeah. <laughs> so hot oh my god so i just left the sale oh my god it was so good i ended up finding an amazing suit set with like a coat and everything i got a handbag and i also got a book so i can't wait to show you guys everything um i know i'm going to aberfoyle antique market on sunday so i'm not really sure if i'm going to be doing the haul after everything because i feel like it just makes more sense to have all the haul and all in one spot at the very end of this video so yeah so now i'm on my way home I'm gonna put my seatbelt on. I feel like I'm gonna hit all the rush hour traffic, which is really annoying, but I had an amazing time at the sale. Um, so yeah, I will see you guys a little bit later. Oh my God, why is my hair so fluffy today? Hi guys, today is a Sunday and I'm on my way to the Aberfoyle Antique Market. I love going to the Aberfoyle Antique Market. I feel like I always find like the cutest little, like, I don't know, like little home decor things or like little accessories. Um, so I'll take you guys along with me. It's a little bit colder this morning because it was raining like all day yesterday. So I'm wearing this little um, blouse and these <laughs> navy shorts. I'm sure I'll show you guys uh, another clip when I actually get there. But um, yeah, I'm on my way there and let's see what we can find.
guys, so today is Monday and yesterday I went to Aberfoyle, that antique market that I took you guys um, and then on Friday I went to the studio sale. It was so much fun. I'm sorry if I didn't get enough clips of that to show you. It was really quiet when I was there so I didn't want to be too annoying for everybody that was there. Um, but I got some really amazing pieces and you guys, I have these two massive bags with vintage clothing and I am so excited to show you guys some of the things that I got. Um, so I'm going to be starting out with that and then I also have some things that I got at the antique market and just like accessories. Um, some of these I showed you guys in my last video so I'm going to be linking it down in the description box if you haven't seen it. But um, okay, I'm just going to go ahead and get started. Okay, so the first clothing piece that I have is a 1930s reproduction suit. I don't know if you guys can see the bottom of the skirt here. There's like a little slit at the front. It is stunning. It is in like a brown maroon kind of color. Um, so it's not actually 1930s. 1930s, like I said, it is reproduction. They made it for a film or a TV show. They couldn't remember exactly which one, but it is stunning. So this is the skirt. It's a little bit big at the waist, but I feel like if I'm wearing it with a blouse or even if I'm wearing it with the jacket, like you can't really tell anyway. It has little maroon stitching here in the little pockets, which is cute. Um, and then it has a matching jacket, of course. So this is the jacket and it actually comes with a matching belt as well with like the prettiest little button. So it goes like this. This part fits beautifully. And I love the way that it looks from the side. I mean, look at this line here. Stunning. Looks like that. So pretty. And then the best part is that it's actually a three-piece set with a full-on like wool coat. You guys, I am screaming that I love matching sets. I mean, look at how stunning this is with the coat and everything. The colors are just beautiful because the coat is a little bit darker than the rest of the set and it just completely completes, completely completes the look. It just, it's everything. I am obsessed. This is probably the nicest suit set that I own and I feel like a Hollywood star wearing this. It is everything. I cannot wait for the fall. I know there's still like an entire month of summer left, but like I am so excited for fall so that I can wear this. Obsessed. Okay, so I also got this little 1940s dress and it's pink. I actually got this the day that I went to go see Barbie, which is really funny. It's really cute. It's like a light pink color and then it has this little lace trim here and at the bottom. It actually kind of reminded me of the dress that I got at the Toronto Vintage Clothing Show. Kind of reminded me a little bit of this dress, except in like a pink version. Um, the only thing that it's missing is a little belt. It didn't have one. I'm sure it's supposed to come with one, but they just didn't have it. I mean, it is what it is with vintage. I did get this at Mama Loves You Vintage in Toronto. Um, but yeah, I'm sure I will find a belt to pair with it. But I just think it's really cute. It's just like casual for like a summer day. And yeah. I am being a little bit more selective in the clothing that I buy because I feel like I cleaned out so much of my closet so I don't want to fill it up with a bunch of random things. I definitely want to be more selective in trying to build a more like a wardrobe that I really really love with like really nice high quality pieces that are from like true vintage or that look vintage like that set that I just showed you. Um, so yeah, so I have this little dress. It is 1940s. I did take off the shoulder pads because you guys know how I feel about shoulder pads. So I also got this 1920s little pink dress the same day that I got the other pink dress, which is really funny because again, I was gonna go see the Barbie movie, but this one is 1920s. And what I love about it is that it has this like scalloping right here as well as like, on the collar, which makes you feel like a flower. I just think it's so pretty, and I feel like I never find 1920s pieces, especially in good condition, so this one is so cute. It is very delicate, as in like the fabric is very thin, obviously because of the time period. So I do have to be a little bit more careful of like when I can wear it. And like I know it doesn't really look like much, but it's actually really pretty in person. And obviously I feel like I need the accessories, like a little hat and like my little handbag and like some pearls or like, I don't know. I feel like it's definitely missing accessories because it is just like one plain color. And yes, I know I'm wearing the wrong slip for it. I just like grabbed like my first nude slip that I found in my drawer. So just ignore the fact that it's not the same length. But yeah, 
Okay, and then the last clothing piece that I have is this late 1940s slip. At least I think it's a late 1940s. I thrifted it and just from the research that I did with the brand with the label on it and just like the silhouette and the material, I believe it's a late 1940s and it is so feminine and silky. I have been looking for a real 1940s slip for the longest time, but every time I go to like a vintage store or an antique market, they are so expensive. So I managed to find this one at the thrift store for like $10, which is still pretty expensive for the thrift store if I'm being honest but since I knew that it was kind of like from that time period I didn't really mind paying for it. It has these like cutouts here with like these kind of like little points and then it has little flowers on it which is super pretty. And then at the studio sale, I also picked up this little clutch. So it looks like this. It's black and it kind of goes hand in hand with the things that I was saying in my previous video. So I was trying to find some more little fabric handbags like this. And I love clutches. I also talked about this in my last video, but I feel like we've just kind of like fallen off clutches. And I just think they look so cute when you're walking around the city um, with your little clutch. And this one is a popcorn bag i think you guys were mentioning this in the comments i didn't know what it was actually called but a few of you guys said that it was like a popcorn bag so that's what i'm gonna refer to it as and it's just really cute and small and it is in like perfect condition and i just love it and i feel like even though it looks really tiny it fits my phone perfectly and i mean realistically what more do i need i need my my wallet, my phone, lipstick, and a handkerchief so I can throw on the ground if I see a cute guy. Like that's basically all I need in this bag and it's gonna fit everything perfectly. So I can just walk around with my big hat and my little clutch. So at the studio sale, this is the last thing that I got there. Um, I also picked up this book and it's Everyday Fashions of the 20s. So this came out in the 1980s, so it's not obviously from the 20s, but it's basically a bunch of like Sears catalogs from the 1920s and it is so cool. Um, I'll see if I can open up some photos or some pages. What am I talking about? Some pages so that I can show you and it is just so 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 cool basically what it is is somebody scanned a bunch of catalogs and they just put it into this book and it is just so cool i love looking through it just to see what kind of things they had in that time period um, i'll do some close-ups so you guys can see more of the pages but it is really cool um and yeah i'm really excited to kind of just like sit down and actually go through everything and like read all the pages because there's a lot of text on it too um so yeah really really cool Okay, so now for things that I got at Aberfoyle. So this is the stuff that I bought yesterday at the um, antique market. So the first thing that I got is so random. I got this for $2 because they were having like a sale. I don't really know. But it is an around the neck mirror. So basically what it is, is you have this mirror and it has this metal piece here so that you can put it around your neck like this. And then that way you can see your hair like on the mirror at the back. So when you're brushing out your hair, you can actually see it. This might solve one of my, my biggest problems. So what I always wanted to make, I always wanted to invent like a stand, like a wooden stick with a mirror so that I could actually just like stand it up beside me so that I could look at the mirror behind me. And I've been wanting to, in, not invent that because I'm sure somebody's made that, but like my in my mind, I wanted something like that so that I could do my hair. So this might temporarily solve my problems until I can actually make that wooden stand with a mirror. I was kind of like playing around with it yesterday trying to get like the right angle and everything. Um, but yeah, I just think it's really fun. And I love that it comes with the original box, which is so cool. Another thing that I got are these two little brooches. So the first one that I have is a little bow with a heart and then it has a little red gemstone on it and I just think it's really dainty it reminds me of like the 1940s very feminine and girly so you guys know hearts in jewelry is like my go-to so love that um, and then the other one is more fun I actually went to Aberfoyle yesterday with my mom so we actually ended up getting matching brooches because there was two of them um, and it's a bowling pin with a bowling ball and how fun would this be with like a little like knit sweater and then you just have your little bowling pin it I think it's really really cute so my mom got the exact same one and the seller that we bought it from um, the guy was saying that it was from his stepmoms when he, she was really young in like the late 50s so this little handbag I got at Aberfoyle but I didn't get it yesterday I got it the previous weekend because I went two weekends in a row and I showed you guys this in my previous video as well but it is a black 1930s handbag it's like a cord bag and it has um, gold hardware which I obviously prefer over silver hardware I always wear gold jewelry. Um, so I just think it's really, really cute. I love little fabric handbags like this. I feel like it's definitely something that I've been really wanting to buy this summer. I mentioned this in my last video.
sorry, I'm gonna stop promoting my last video. I've mentioned it like a million times in this video. And then something else that I got at Aberfoyle, not yesterday, but the weekend before, is this little white hat. And I've already worn it like three times since I bought it. And it is so cute. It's kind of like a, I don't know, it is white, but it's more of like a cream. So I feel like it just matches a lot of things. And it just looks so pretty on. And it just... It, it doesn't feel like it's too much. You can definitely wear this for like every day going to run errands or something because it's not too dramatic. Like I feel like I have some really big hats that are a little bit more for like walking around the city versus this one where I can just go run my errands and just, it looks a little bit more casual in my eyes. So another accessory that I got at Aberfoyle, I didn't come in this box, I just had this lying around, but it's a necklace and I found it in one of the booths that had like um, like a bunch of jewelry and like little plastic bags and I just kind of was like moving things around and I saw this and I thought it was so cool and so unique so I had to pick it up. So it looks like this and I know it doesn't really look like much but it's like plastic little like coins I guess you could say um, and it has like a little... It's like a horse, a guy on a horse with a bird, but the horse has horns, So, it, but it's too big to be a goat. I'll do a close-up. It doesn't make any sense. But anyway, so it looks like this, and they're kind of like cream plastic circles. Um, and then it has this like burnt orange velvet running through it, and then it has a little bow where like the clasp is. And I just thought it would be really cool if you're wearing like a cream colored dress, and I added this almost like a collar. I just think it's really, really pretty. It reminds me of like the 1930s. I have no idea what time period this is from. Probably like the 70s, just based on the plastic and the colors. Um, but I just thought it was really, really cool. Another thing that I got at Aberfoyle is this little box. And I actually saw this the first time that I went to Aberfoyle and I didn't have enough cash. So I didn't pick it up and then I went back this time and it was still there. So I was like, this is a sign that I need to buy it. Um, I actually asked and they gave me a better price for it, which is amazing. Because this was, I paid $20 for this and they were asking for $30, which honestly is a lot for a wooden box. But anyway, so it looks like this. So it's like a, I think it's from the 1920s, just based on the fabric and things the, I don't know, that's just like what my gut is telling me, but I'm not entirely sure. But it looks like this, it has a little closure, and then it opens up like this, and there's little compartments for like pins, like hairpins. So that's probably what I'm gonna be using it for. It did come with a bunch of hairpins, but all the metal ones were rusted, like really, really rusted. And then it, there also was a bunch of these little plastic ones, but a lot of them were broken. So I managed to save three of them. So at least I have three. Um, and I'm just gonna put in my own little hairpins in here, but I just thought it was so pretty. And you just really don't see things like this anymore. So I'm really excited to actually own it. And the last thing that I got at Aberfoil is this magazine, and it is a companion, women's home companion from May 1938. I love this cover, and actually, the inside, there's a lot of really interesting things. I'll do some close-ups, but there's a lot of really cool pages in here. Like, there's, like, recipes and, like, little stories. It was very, very cool. And I've actually never read this magazine before. If any of you guys have heard of this magazine before, let me know in the comments below. I just love this cover so much. I think it's so cool. To finish off this video, I do have three thrifted pieces that I wanted to show you. Um, so the first one I also showed in my previous video, and it is a little clutch. So it looks like this, and it's kind of like a straw clutch, and it has this yellow frame up here, like a baby yellow with little flowers. And I just thought it would be perfect for summer. Like even with this outfit that I'm wearing right now, I just think it looks really pretty. And yeah, I got this, I'm pretty sure it was like $4, something kind of like in that ballpark. So yeah, very cute. And then I also thrifted it this little handbag, or not handbag, it's a little clutch. And again, I just, I've been really into clutches lately. I don't know what it is. I just think they're so cute. So this one is black and long, and I'm telling myself, I'm cutting myself off from black handbags, because I keep buying them. Like even in this video, I showed you guys three different black handbags, and I do not need any more. So I'm cutting myself off with any black handbags. Um, but this one's just really, really cute. So this one's made out of like a bunch of little beads. So it's kind of like a beaded bag in a way. Um, so it's like a bunch of little squiggly, lines with beads it's really pretty like it has a big compartment and then it has a zipper compartment as well so you can put some things in there like if i wanted to put like my cards or something they'll be really nice and safe with the zipper which is great okay and then my last thing that i thrifted is a hat stand and you guys do you know how hard it is to find hat stands just like in general where I live? I never find them and I can't believe that I actually found this one at the thrift store. I'm pretty sure it was like six dollars which is kind of expensive because they probably didn't know what it was but like it is so cool. It's a little bit bigger so it makes me think that it was probably for like a men's hat but I mean 
a hat is a hat, you know, it fits in there really nicely, so that's great, and it also has little sticks here on the side, I imagine that you would hang something from there, I'm thinking that people would hang like things for like bow ties maybe there, or I have no idea what people would hang from this, I actually have never thought about looking that up, let me know if you know. Um, but yeah, they're really, really cool. You guys know I'm always on the hunt for some hat stands, so I can't believe that I actually found one at the thrift store. <laughs>